This is Radio Takeover. Brevard's hit talk radio program with Karen Wooden and Chuck Fresh. Wednesdays at 1, live on 1510 WMEL, 94.7 FM Coco, 99.9 FM Coco, 100.7 in Melbourne. Streaming online on SoundCloud, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and iTunes. Now, hold on to your seats. It's time for this week's edition of Radio Takeover. Welcome to this week's edition of Radio Takeover. My name is Sparky the Talking Beaver, and I'm here with uh, Karen Wooden. Hi, Karen. Hey, what's up, Sparky? Good to see you. Good to see you, As too. As always. I thought I left you at Disneyland over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just throwing my studio. <laughs> Chuck Fresh with you. And, uh, well, that is kind of weird. We have an air conditioning situation in the studio, so we all a little bit of stinking. We're going to work through this, aren't we? We are. We are. Weep is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey. So we're streaming live on Facebook. If you're not looking at that, Facebook.com. What is it? RTO Brevard? I don't think I've changed that to WDN. No, so that's what it is. That's, that's what cool. It is. Thank you. We're also yes. part of the WDN network. World. Wait. World domination. Karen, you do it. You're so good. World. Dominic. Yes, that is the, that's the title from now on. It's so much better when you do it. Thank you to you Jeremy Holm for that. I mean, you, yeah. you started this. I told him the other day. <laughs> You're responsible. <for> it. <laughs> Radio Takeover is brought to you in part by Brevard Marketing. Yes, I might be a little involved with that organization. Are you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Brevard Marketing's experienced team of professional marketers with over 30 years' experience. I don't look like I could possibly have 30 years' experience in anything. Karen. I'm thinking you're like about 20. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Anyway, you have to uh, talk to your wife about that. Find out your age for sure. The experience in radio is all a lie. Everybody lies. Radio, TV, and the web, and we create marketing that works. So you just can't beat a Brevard Marketing website, people who need websites. That's right. The words, the right design, the right SEO terms and usability, it just makes sense when we do it. We designed Radio Takeover's website. Did you, you know did. that? But, I mean, they did. <laughs> I did. We did. Yeah, for our marketing did. We also did Jake McGrew, country music superstar Jake McGrew. Has, has he been on this show yet? No. Okay, he never I'm will be. Computer, computer care author Olivia Black and a bunch of others. And listen, a lot of people have already spent a crap ton of money on an existing website, but that's not a problem. You don't have to start from scratch because Brevard Marketing can take a look at it. Flesh out grammar and spelling mistakes, Karen. Rewrite the call to action, Karen, and give you tips to take to your designer and say, Fix this! Fix it now. That's what they do. So Brevard Marketing can save your expensive website if it needs a little bit of help. It's not producing. Come to us. Let us talk. And they also produce podcasts and videos, too. Who would have think? Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk it? Is that a word? It is today. Thought? That's right. We're the media. Whatever we say. It is. <laughs> it's really a one-stop shop, this Brevard Marketing, for all your advertising and marketing needs. So more scoop sco- on Brevard Marketing at www.brevardmarketing.com. Karen, yeah. tell us what's going on today. Well, you know what? Before Wait. We, what? Wine. Oh, wine. I always forget. You're throwing <laughs> off my game today. Who's you know, our wine today? We're doing this Facebook Live in case our favorite sheriff is watching. Whoa. Okay, so today's <laughs> wine is Graham's Six Grapes Port. I'll give it six claps. Yeah. Wow! That's the biggest response we've ever had for wine. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's not as good as our favorite Quinta Nova. It's very but good. But it's very close. It's a good contender. But hey, you know what, Chuck? Um, before we get into our announcements oh. and, and some fun stuff, let's take a minute about a little snafu that happened on our show recently. Ooh. Okay? Mm-hmm. Chuck, you remember we had the legendary Robert Mafia on Robert. our show. Anthony Robert Mafia. Anthony Mafia. Right there. This is you. You. We're talking to you. We're talking to you. We're talking to you. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Um, he is a giant in the music industry, and we absolutely love him. Um, he's got fantastic stories. Anyway, unfortunately, during that really awesome interview, we lost our satellite signal, lost a little bit of the show. Um, it happens. It's technology. So we just want to take a moment and say, Robert, we're really, really sorry. We want to apologize to our listeners because so many people were interested in that. He has uh, amazing interview. stories. This guy has phenomenal stories. He does. We actually received a few messages with some people that were pretty irate. They were. Yeah, they I want were. to hear the thing they about were. Bon Jovi and Rod right? Stewart. And this guy's been there. Right? But it's okay. Our listeners have our back. They let us know so yeah. we can we can get things corrected. And so, you know, I just want to say we're sorry again. Um, and we are going to replay that broadcast on Wednesday, September 27th from 1 to 2 p.m. Yes! Right here on AM 1510 WMEL. And as a reminder, you can always catch our show no matter what. 
24-7, iHeart, iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Facebook, There's our website. There's places I don't even know about that I, I found know, out right? our show. Somehow right? we ranked number 30. It's the 30th most popular podcast yesterday. That is awesome. I don't know how it happened, why it happened, but that was very cool. So we need to go for three, awesome. three awards. Cool. Three awards. Three awards. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're award-winning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know who to talk to. Okay. <laughs> right. cool. so, Robert Mafia coming back up. What's the date on that again? Wednesday, September 27th. So make sure you tune in for that on the 27th. Yeah, it's a great interview. He's um, just amazing. Some really fantastic stories. Love that guy. Um. Okay, so anyway, also coming up, we have the third annual FNO 2017 Fashion Showcase. I'll be there. It is. Are you going to be on the stage? I might. You should be. I actually might. Be. You should be. Fashion Night Out Fashion 2017. Night Out. The theme is Paris this year. Runway in Paris with yeah. none other than designer extraordinaire Michael Emmanuel. Genius! Ford. He is a genius. <laughs> that takes place this weekend at the O'Galley <laughs> Civic Center, Saturday, July 29th. Doors open at 6. That's right. We're VIP, so we could get in at 6. Yeah, everybody else has to wait, wait. outside. Wait Sorry, you should have got your VIP tickets, yo. It's all I over know. the place. You should have known. There's, there's the VIP <laughs> tickets are sold out. No, it's you, I candy. Are you coming? <laughs> you should be there. I'll be there. I can't come. <laughs> so this year, um, the Fashion Night Out is going to benefit Malak's Medical and Dental Warriors. Great, great cause. Great cause. Absolutely. Great organization. <laughs> Um, there's still some tickets available, so you can go to www.michaelemmanuelcouture.com for more information. Um, there's also going to be some great vendors as well. Uh, one of our favorite, Everybody's Massage, where you can go Ooh. get stoned. I love getting <laughs> stoned, and then you can go back to work. Right? <laughs> You That's your slogan, and then you get stoned yeah, back to work. You guys is. know what a stone massage is. <laughs> yeah. Before you think we're talking about something else. Oh, come no, no, on. No. I'm getting stink eye over here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gina so L. Premier Designs, Art of You, okay. Ron Culver with Business and Career Consultant, Unique Boutique by V, and Lip Sense, and Purium, and I'm I sure there's a, quite a few more. Absolutely. So, um so that's that's the announcements. That's what's coming up there this weekend. Excellent. Be there, be square. That's right. What are you wearing? Me? Uh-huh. Well, there was that jacket I wore for the Jeremy Holm interview. Oh, my gosh, yes. The but I'm not wearing that. Thing. Really? No, I'm just going to get some spray paint. Some <laughs> yeah, it kind of was like if you went to an amusement <laughs> yeah. park, ate too much candy, and threw up. That's what it was like. Exactly. That's well, a great that's analogy. That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> yeah. um, so, you know, kind of some strange things in the news. Did you hear about the companies? They're going to... Microchip? Their yes, I have a couple in various places. <laughs> My wife did that to me, so let's keep an eye on me. <laughs> Good job, Tina. <laughs> well, that's okay. I don't blame her. Yeah. You know, I've got know, a what history. You, what do you think of that, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Grapes? Wait, wait, I'm lost. All right. We're talking grapes. I'm thinking yeah. support here. Um, yeah. He's fanning. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't think I'd want to be microchipped. No, I don't want to do that. No. No. No, so. How about Sean? Would you microchip Sean? How about your kids? Not. Yes. I like a microchip yes. my kids. Yes, microchip my kids. Let me just turn it off when they turn 18. Mm-hmm. You microchip your dog. Can't be harmful. Yeah, right? your that's dog's true. Your like 15, 17 years old. You, know, you microchip a parrot? Do you have a parrot? No, I don't. Okay. But, um, <laughs> I wouldn't microchip a parrot either. So. How big are those things? Is that uncomfortable? How's yours? Well, Does when I hurt? watched my dog. <laughs> yeah, I have a really big one. <laughs> We don't ask about that. We don't want to talk oh about my. that. Oh, my. George Decay. Oh, my. Right. So funny. They're pretty um, small. So, uh, moving on. You know, I have a friend that lives in Alaska. What? Yes. Is that a, a state? It's, it's a whole other country. Who would have thought? <laughs> you can see Alaska from your backyard out there, can't you? You probably can. It's true. <laughs> Sure, that's true. There we go. We need it every right. week. Every week. We every second. Sometimes you say a joke and people just look at you. No. Um, no, so anyway, um, they were walking at the mall. You know, when you go to the mall early in the morning, sometimes you see people there and they're walking around. They're called mall walkers. Yeah. Well, apparently in Anchorage, Alaska, at this one particular mall, uh, they have a speed limit. Oh. And my friend, <laughs> yes, and the speed limit, uh, my friend, her husband, and mother got pulled over <laughs> for walking too fast. I think they were walking, walking. 3.0. <laughs> yes. Uh, apparently, one of the janitors that worked there thought they were being kind of dangerous. Really? Yes. They involved the police, the local police. So, uh, 
Yeah. If you go to Alaska, just yeah, slow don't down. mall walk. Yeah. Okay. Crawl. That's pretty funny. Do you have to wear a speedometer while you're doing it? I know. Right? right? I said, did you ask them if they have speed limit signs posted? I think it was the chip mm-hmm. they gave me. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the chip. That's pretty funny. We're Russian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. Okay. We got a lot um, to cover. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about Disney for a little bit? Yeah, sure. Just, just for a brief moment. You know, we took my son there, well, both of my sons, there for um, to see, what was it, Avatar. Right on. And How I got to say, we know some people that worked on it ah. and really, really good. Nice. However, it was over a two-hour wait. What? And there's a new job for people. You can design lines. Because oh. this line was outside. I mean, it, it, it's just ridiculous. So you get outside, and I mean, it, it, this line must have wrapped probably like 30 times. Wow. As, I'm yeah, probably I exaggerating. It. Yeah. But no, no, you're outside forever, and then you get inside it's hot. forever. Yeah. 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 And then you go into the lab, yeah. and you're still circling through lines. And mind you, it rained, so people. Lordy people did. People stink. Wow. So, yeah, you know. Especially they, the Europeans. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, God. So, they've got, I think they need to help that out. They need to. Um, deodorant station. Deodorant station. Showers. <laughs> Bathrooms. <laughs> showers. Food Wet vendors. <laughs> Lysol wipes. I don't care. Just wipe that. Whew, but, wipe the stink off. You know, for me, it's really <laughs> not the happiest place on earth because I did the math. We showed up. We were there for 12 hours. Right. Okay. Wow. That's a good day. It uh, was. You get your money's worth, huh? That's what we're going to talk about. One hundred dollars per person. So it's about five hundred eight for. Well, that's more than that. I can't add. Five hundred eight dollars for four people. Sure. We're all adults, okay? So, twelve hour day. Yeah. How many rides do you think we got on? Two. <laughs> five rides. So we basically paid a hundred dollars a ride, and then they kick you out at ten o'clock. What? And that's just for the hotel guests. So we need, we need to like get Disney on the phone and say, you know what? How about you just let the hotel guests go from this time to you this time? What? Kick them out and let the locals enjoy it. We're going to build our own Disney. I think so. WDN <laughs> Disney. We're going to kick their butt. World domination. We have little rides, Ferris wheels, <laughs> swing sets, <laughs> bubble jumpers. Yeah. Whatever no that is. So I was a little bummed out about yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. But the Avatar ride, the flight, I think it's called Flight... Flight something. There's yeah. only two rides. Is amazing. Um, after you wait for two hours and you just yeah. really want to kill somebody, yeah, right, right. You go into this room and you sit down on this thing, and it's supposed to simulate one of the dragons that they fly. <gasps> and I so love you're dragons. kind of strapped in there and yeah. you can feel it breathing. And then you've got 3D glasses and this big incredible screen. Yeah. And then you're soaring through. Um, oh, it's Pandora. a motion simulator. Mm-hmm. No. You need some motion no. sickness pills. We're gonna work on that. No. But it's beautiful, and then they have smells, so you're oh. getting the whole. Experience. Smells in here right now. <laughs> it does. Sorry. It does. So it's a great ride. Nose candy. That's my name. Nose candy. <laughs> Nose candy. But yeah, it's a great ride. I highly recommend it. I like it. We're gonna have to head out there, and uh, John Harper's taking us all out there. I understand. He is. Yeah. Just John, you hooked up at Disney, right? Thanks, man. Just the fast pass. I love that guy, Uncle John, ladies and gentlemen. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, let me just move on. Do we have a second or two? Yeah, real quick. Okay. Um, the word of the day is going to be brought to you by Giga Gaggle. What? And it's Say it again. Giga Gaggle. How many times did you say that before you came in here? It's almost like saying Pashki. Right? You know, what is up with these weird names? Okay, so the word today is super derogatory. Super erotic. What Super did you say? derogatory. Oh, word in my mind. What? No, what is that in your mind? Why don't you give us the definition? Super def- derogatory? Why don't you give me the definition? I'll tell you. Right. Super derogatory? Super derogatory. Derogatory. I have no it. idea. We could say Any of you like know? Any of Weep know what that word is? We got rocket scientists in here. Anybody? Comedians? Hi, Candy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Sounds erotic. Yes. I'll put it in a sentence. Go ahead. For you, Chuck. Thank you. When it comes to RTO, Chuck is super derogatory. See? It always reflects back on me. <laughs> right, right. That's sexist. It is going beyond the requirements of duty. Oh! That's so sweet. Cry, cry break. We'll be back right after this cry break. All right, Okay, going? back to you. <clears throat> All right. Weep is here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super excited. Let's tell you who they are. From the space coast of Florida to the west coast and all across the nation. 
Weep has impacted the lives of my. Did you hear my voice crack? I was so excited. <laughs> Weep Going through fever. has impacted the lives of music lovers of all ages with their infectious melodies, tight harmonies, and lyrics that echo the human condition. You feel that, girl? Yeah. 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 You feel what I'm their unique stuff, their unique sound blends rock, <laughs> funk, and a touch of the blues together to create an acoustic tapestry that is both modern and nostalgic. In a word, electric. Together, these four women will take you on a musical journey with a sound that not only heals, inspires, transforms, and empowers, but they will rock your soul to the core. <laughs> Rob and Kimmy, Melanie, and Kat are captivating listeners and spreading the message of peace, love, far and wide with their hook-laden songs and their magnetic appeal. And that's true. I can vouch for that. So catch them while you can. So continuing Radio Takeover's insanely popular Summer of Sound series. We may have to take this to Autumn of Sounds, too. Yeah. Do you work for Disney? Please welcome yes. Robin Lynn Winkelman on vocals, Kimberly Pashkane on bass. That's Pashkey, ladies and gentlemen. Melanie England, oh England, on keyboard, <laughs> and Kat Witters on drums. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wait to a radio. Hey, 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 hey. We're doing great. We're, now that we're here, and thank you for having us, by the way. Well, thank you for coming in. We have a lot of people here. John, how are we on the mic levels? Because they're kind of all over the place. Are you hearing them? We're hearing people? Okay, good. You guys want to kind of close in that mic when y'all yell? Just yell real loud. We'll hear you. All right. So welcome to the show, and uh, why don't we go around and have everybody introduce themselves. Everybody get close to a mic, tell you who you are and what you did that made you famous. Oh, uh, I'm Robin Lynn Winkelmann, and um, I am the guitarist and singer for the band. Um, I write uh, a lot of the songs, I write and, the uh, songs. <laughs> and there's these beautiful women. Go ahead. Sometimes your songs do make people cry. Aww. Yeah. Speak can't up say, so we can hear you, because you're important. Go ahead. I'm Melanie. Melanie. I Melanie. play keyboards, a little bit of percussion, wow. and uh, backup vocals. Right on. Moving right along. I'm Kat, and I play the drums and also back, back up vocals. Very cool. I'm going to call her Katniss. Kat. Katniss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and last but not least. I am Kimmy, and I play the bass guitar and mm. do backup vocals. Really? Mm-hmm. Guys, just give us like a harmony right now, but anything else. Oh, give me like a G. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. All right, never mind. I'll do it. That wasn't on the script. Um, yeah. so tell us about wow. Weep. How did you guys all get together? Well, Robin and I brought Weep here from New York. It was just the two of us. Oh. We used to, it, we were a three piece in New York, kind of okay. punky. Um, New, York, and, New York City, yeah. New York State, Long yeah. Island. New York State, Ithaca, upstate New York. Oh. But we played in New York City quite often. Wow. Um, CBGB's, places what? like that. Yeah. You played CBGB's? Yeah. yeah. Just like legendary. That was yeah. our like, haunt. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So um, then we brought Weep to, to Florida and we were looking for musicians to join us. And we met Melanie first at a spiritual center. Oh, she was the Craigslist. music director. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. It was divine intervention. Right. Yeah. Many, many yeah. women seeking one. Yeah. Nice. And uh, nice. at that same spiritual center, we also found our first drummer that here from Florida. I was the drummer back in New York. So, really? Yeah. But um, so uh, my sister, who was playing the bass, went back to where we grew up, and so we lost her and mm. came here to find. So then um, Melanie was joined us, and we also found our first drummer, Paula huh. Voitko, there at the spiritual center. Um, and um, we did our first gig together as as we appear in Florida at the Hard Rock in Orlando. Oh which wow! Was cool. Oh, that's just yeah. Started at the top, yeah. right? Why yeah. Right. Right. Hot yeah. Right we now. got pretty spoiled, you know, dressing room all that stuff. Yeah. And then oh. later we realized uh, it's not always like that. Yeah. But <laughs> we need um, one of those. We need a dressing room. Yeah. yeah. So it's over the past few years, we've had room? we've had a few musicians come and go, and um, we met Cat. Somebody introduced Katniss. us to Cat. Katniss, yes, <laughs> and uh, she she was going to just be a fill-in for a little while, but I think she got hooked and, and uh, joined us as our drummer, and we couldn't be happier. Awesome. So. Where did the name Weep come from? Uh, There's a story here. Actually, Kat, like, that was, you were supposed to tell that story, but I, you, 
I don't know. Just, just Katniss, come up here to the microphone. Mm-hmm. Tell us how we got the name. The book is about the human condition. Oh. Uh, the the music that we play is is all about the human condition. So we weep for joy, we weep for pain, we weep to cleanse, just like the rain. Weep the essential cleansing agent. <laughs> oh wait a minute! Yeah. I'm going to kickstart it out. Yeah. And, and the acronym for WEEP is actually Women Expressing Extreme Passion. Women nice. Expressing Extreme Passion. That's clever. Yeah, that's really good. That's clever. So. You don't really get acronyms much in names. No. Most people make them up afterwards. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. John, is that two minutes and 17 seconds left? Ah, okay, till the break. All right. So we were going to try to squeeze a song, and we're going to have to do that after the break. We're going to have, like, a massive acoustic jam after the break. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right, Karen, go ahead. So most bands don't have a mission. A mission? A mission. But your band does. What is it? And what do you hope to do with your music? Um, Our mission statement is... Actually, I wrote it down here. Oh, <laughs> because it's kind of Surprise long. Yeah. Um, yes, is to heal, inspire, transform, and promote peace and love through music, in order to captivate, motivate, and awaken the planet, mm. and to rock your soul. Rock your soul. Yeah, nice. That yeah. is pretty cool. I just really like that. And there are your bands that do that. We, you guys are here we feel, for a cause. Yeah. And we yeah. feel that we can use our music to give back to the community by donating our time and talent to local benefits and global charities, which we've done a few. And um, in essence, we're shining our light up to the world. Do you guys still have day jobs? Some of us. Yeah? What do you all do, for instance? I work for the airport, the Titusville Coco Airport Authority. Mm-hmm. I'm playing really? hooky from them, but they, they're aware of it. Um, I'm the administrative <laughs> manager there. Oh, <laughs> boss. Yeah. Connections. Yeah. I might need a job soon. <laughs> Let's move right along. I'm a I'm a meteorologist. I work You're a meteorologist. How cool is that? Good I work Lord. by the Air Force here at Cape Canaveral. Wow. So I do the weather for the launches. That, wow. That's, That's why our cool. phone beeps a lot. That's right. She's the one that calls off the launches. I don't know. Right. Like, there's that That's team. True. Actually, that true. Go ahead, yeah. Melanie. Yeah. Uh, yes, I am a music director for a spiritual community in Tavares, Florida. Um, and I am also a... Um, Musician, yes. <laughs> uh, for a, I don't even know what you call it, but down in South Florida, which I'm headed to right after this. All right, moving right, right. along, got a couple seconds here. And I am an artist. I uh, have a website, www.rlwinkart.com. Check it out, buy some paintings. Cool mind. Right. 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 Weep is here in studio with Radio Takeover. We're going to have to take a short break. Already? And uh, we will be back in just a bit. Stick around. We're going to play live for us right here in the studio on Radio Takeover with Chuck Fresh and Karen Wood. We'll yeah, see you in a bit. Whenever I am on the Space Coast, I always make time in my schedule to listen to Radio Takeover with Karen Warden and Chuck Fresh. Stand by. They'll be back for another half hour after these messages. and gentlemen, we are back with Karen Wooden and Chuck Fresh with Radio Takeover, WMEL's hit radio talk show program. Heard every Wednesday on fine radio stations like this.
<laughs> that was wa- <laughs> that was washed over me and original by we. They are our special in studio guests on Radio Takeover <laughs> Sounds of Summer special. So we hear the proceeds um, from the single is going to be donated to Stand Up for Cancer. Yes. Can you tell us the story behind Wash Over Me and why you chose this organization? I mean, that's really awesome. Um, I wrote the song. Uh, my mother had a 18 month battle with a cancer, um, and she lost it. And but during Sorry. that uh, period of time, she was really strong, and uh, I thought I just thought it was really great tribute to her and to all those people that are out there dealing with cancer, struggling uh, with cancer, and all the family members. Um, and so we just thought it would be a great idea to put it out there and have this money go towards these organizations or this particular organization um, to help out. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot that uh, needs yeah. to be done, especially with the families. I, I don't think that people realize you know, how much the families go through and then after the loved one has passed, I mean, there's yeah. so much more to deal with. So they, they offer counseling and all types of things. So. That's great. That's a great organization. Thank you for doing that. Honored to actually. She's smiling down upon you right now. Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. job. Yeah. yeah, I lost a bunch of people with cancer, too. And it's yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. I think everyone is. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how many people yeah. that, yeah. That's pretty yeah. All right. Let's bring us back to a little yeah. bit more happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's curious. The song is a happy song. It is a happy it is song. A happy yeah, song. It is a happy it's, song. It's, not, it's very upbeat. And yeah. yes. I know the words, I know that Robin's mom actually said those first words were, I, I feel a bit depleted, but far from defeated. And oh. so yeah. she yeah. actually like said music, those to her. You know, during yeah. the whole thing. So, great words. So let's talk about, this is Karen's question, actually, the music industry. Have you guys found there's any different treatment or a standard that you notice between girl bands and boy bands? Let's get into the sexism thing. <laughs> you could ask that a lot. Um, in a sense, yeah, it's a lot of it's really subtle. Yeah. So, like, you know, you know, you see boy, you know, guys. So they don't getting, bring strippers into your dressing room? No, no, no. <laughs> but I think it's more of a, you can, you see, I mean, if you even look in the music industry, all the festivals, and the, the, the ratio of women to men yeah. is still very, yeah. very low. And, That's weird. And, I, I say uh, the main part of it, though, is that there's an expectation uh, out there in the music community that women don't know as much as men know. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, sometimes the tendency is to be a little bit condescending when it comes to, you know, mixing your sound, sound and things yeah. like that. And they're yeah. like, yeah. you know, oh, you don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. So, so it, that, it, in that sense, it's a little bit different, too. It's just the way that you can feel the weight of expectation yeah. that people are going to just think differently about us than they do about other bands. And, you know, we're equally trained. We're equally, yeah, yeah, you know, sure. well, guys are just smart jerks. about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys on behalf of the entire well, male race. Except for this one. But, you know, yeah, no, and, 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 and some women oh, expect it to be different for really? us. You know right. what I mean? It's, wow. it's not it's not so much purely men. It's just, it, that's just the, the expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Since we're part of the World Domination Network, That's right. we can actually change, can change that a little that bit. We're just yeah. having this conversation that you know, women are actually intellectually smarter than men. It's pretty That's true. <laughs> if we could just put aside some of our stuff and bond together, we could actually rule man. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. that. You know, I, I have to agree. <laughs> I have to agree. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's true. Back it's to the true. show, <laughs> and I think that the standard for you know for women is women. different <laughs> than it is for men yeah. as far as like how you appear to to the audience. You know, we're women are expected to look a certain way, mm-hmm. yeah. and men get up there and they, you know, I've seen them like they can have really good. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like in heels, you know. Like, well, that's that's messed problem. up. We need to change that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have I've you seen guys in fishnets? heard of that address <laughs> in the industry and <laughs> in, in the news? I actually haven't heard much about that, about yeah. sexism in music. I really haven't heard much about that. And it's yeah, that's why I say it's a little bit, su- it's pretty subtle. Yeah. In, in, you know, you well, don't we're going to really... start that battle, aren't we, Karen? We're going to change that. Yeah. We're going to change that world domination, yo. yo. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo. It starts today. What's the biggest gig you've ever done? Right here, I would say, radio takeover. I, I would say, well, Kimmy kind of already said it, but the Hard Rock Live was probably our biggest. Yeah. It was our first and our biggest. Um, really, it was all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Why do you <laughs> say that? Literally smoke and mirrors. Literally like, smoke, smoke and smoke mirrors. A lot of lights. I mean, it was it was you know it you was full production. You know, we they were, were just, chanting. Yeah, we had really? this huge, mon- huge montage of an introduction. Yeah, and we had people out there. 
and there's a big chanting, and you're like, when did we get this crowd? That's cool. <laughs> and uh, it was it was pretty. It it's cool. a big room. And it was a big stage. You yeah. got into a stage, you know, yeah. more room than we've ever had to move around. They rolled the, stage, the drums so. on the drum riser and Ooh. counted us down. And it was pretty really cool. Wow. Just, that's it. Yeah. to be in the Jimi Hendrix. Was it Jimi Hendrix? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. 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 wasn't actually with us then at that time. So, that's unfortunately. Sad. But I know that we're going to have an experience like that again that she can be a part of. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, were you guys by yourselves? Were you headlining at Hard Rock? What was the deal there? Were uh, there for? It was a... Uh, Global Battle of the Bands. We ah, played in it twice. Nice. Uh, nice. So, yeah, that yeah. was pretty cool. You took the trophy? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm <laughs> on the shelf. So what about The Voice, America's Got Talent? Have you guys talked or been approached by those people? Yes. We've really? We've been approached by both. Really? No. I'm not surprised. Usually no. through our Reverb Nation, which we're a yeah. part of, um, you know, and they, they select bands, I think, that they actually approach to, to try out. Um, we just... It just didn't work out for us at yeah. the time. They fast but, track some people yeah. past yeah. the line. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's quite an honor. Very cool. Yeah. Maybe I can see why. Right. It's not easy to see why. Are you thinking about doing it in the future? Or? Uh, logistically, Maybe next time they call? Logistically, it really wouldn't work because we're kind of a, you know, number one, we're a, a, a full band. You know, we have yeah. a lot of people, which is logistically in itself hard it's to do. Hard, but, yeah. you know. Right. It, I don't know how we would drag all of our equipment out and set it up in the in the tent. Logistics, they, they figure that. It's your that. networks, man. You yeah. can figure yeah. all of this. Or Robert Mafia. That's Robert right. Mafia. <laughs> right. He can right. figure all that stuff right. out. That's what he does. Let me ask you guys, when you're going up on stage right before you can take the hard rock experience, um, for example, what is what are the first thoughts going through your head when you're just ready to step foot on the stage? Do not trip. <laughs> do not trip. Uh, I mean, like, have fun. Uh, just have yeah. a blast. So I'm about to do the thing I love to do. I'm just going to have a great time doing it. Are you yeah. ever nervous? Yeah, we're yeah. nervous. Some, <laughs> sometimes, a lot of times, sometimes we forget to do this, but we, like, you know, grab each other's hands, get in a circle, and say a little prayer, and just, like, you That's know. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're up there. Take a breath. Yeah. But as soon as we start playing, like, there's this connection, and it's yeah. really cool, and it just happens, and we just soar. Like yeah, I get more nervous about like technical issues. Yeah, the sound is it, it, a lot of times we have to bring our own sound system. So my concentration is is like as long as we can get the sound set up and get our sound check and get everything perfect yeah. before we play, I'm happy. And then once mm -hmm. I get the playing, it's the easy. Part. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> so up, right. yeah. once we're all sweaty, yeah, yeah. Right. that's, that's true. On stage to play. Yeah. Will you guys do an acoustic song for us right here in the radio takeover studio? We can will. You do that for us. You sure. can do that. Yeah. Hand that to you? Yeah. yeah. Sure. We can do that. Let's go under here. Is that on? That little lamp? <laughs> mm hmm Everything's good. What are you going to play for us? Tell us where you're going to play and what the story is here. Uh, this is um, a song that we're, is on our new album that's about to be released. Ooh, uh, world gonna, premiere! Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, uh, let's see... Um, it's acoustic, so it's not like what we're doing right, on the album, right. but you know, it's a song yeah, groovy yeah. still. It's a and it's a called um, Twice If I Like It, and uh, I, I wrote it. I wrote it back in Minneapolis. I know it sounds like. <laughs> I'm just going somewhere else. I, I think I see it. Tina? that often. <laughs> sort of the same concept, but yeah. And but, and it was just one of those things. I lived in the city of Minneapolis, and I. I just happened to like open my curtains. I was looking out the window, and the song came to me, like the words. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it, Been and there, it kind of explains that. itself. Yeah. So, uh, all right, what's it called? Twice if I like it. Twice if I like it, ladies and gentlemen. Weep live in studio. Radio takeover sounds of summer.
Nice. And that's without keyboards. Have you ever done this acoustic, acoustic, acoustically? Yeah. yeah. We've done it um, with no, acoustic, acoustic with the keyboards, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. But I don't think we've done it without. Yeah. I mean, no offense, but it sounds great. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. just kind of a neat little twist on it. It sounds yeah. a lot different than the keyboards. It's very yeah. spacey yeah. with the keyboards is it? in it. Is yeah, there's a little bit of a very... <laughs> yeah. So this is off your new EP coming out? It's, it's a, a new... Album. Actually, it's a full-length CD oh, that we're working on. What's it going to be called? It's... Uh, we think we're going to name it Wash Over Me after Wash Over mm. Me. and release it. How many songs? Twelve. And tell our listeners where we can find yes. Weep information on it. Where can you buy this thing when it's ready? Where can um, you... Our main website is www.weeprock. W-E-E-P, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Weep, W-E-E-P, it's in cry. Weeprock.com. And we're also on Facebook at Facebook uh, backslash Weeprock. Awesome. Twitter is Weeprock Girls. This is all on our website. Right yeah, on. all the links okay, are on the website. We'll put it on ours also. Um, and you. you know, we have we release our music on CD Baby, and then they distribute it to all the digital outlets. Right. So that's cool. Yeah. So who pretty much writes these songs? Like, how's that process mm-hmm. work? Here? Dinkleman. Yeah, I write the songs. Um, yeah, I've been writing since I was a little. A little bit. A little bit. Back in Germany. Germany. Back in Germany. <laughs> she, was, she was a little winky butt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys collaborate, kind of yeah. come yeah. together and kind of put mm-hmm. together the, I mean, the harmonies you have yeah, to Yeah, Mel, so. Mel's a good harm. Like, she, because she's music director and choir director, yeah. she's, she's yeah. one who she's really gets, gets us tops of the harmonies. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, we just put it all together and each other. Yeah, work on the, the musical arrangements, you know, putting right. our own flavor into everything. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, nice. Well, it's working. Yeah. You're doing something right. Mm-hmm. We and produce what? everything before we actually record it. We've got it. Yeah. That's song pretty well produced by you that You guys point. do your own internal production recording? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. It's yeah. so simple now to do it, you know? It's... Yeah, except for when your jaw crashes. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Right you get your cell phone. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. yeah, we've had some technical glitches, but um, getting through it, we're almost finished, ready to be sending out. We actually send it out to be mastered. Awesome. Um, so, who does your mastering? Uh, we have a gentleman named Alex Perialis. He's mm-hmm. from Ithaca, New York, and he um, works at Pyramid Sound. He's also a professor at Ithaca College in sound engineering. Wow! And he yeah, produced people. Bad Religion. Oh wow! Yeah, they're great. So, wow. He's a cool guy. Really, really great. He's he's actually worked with. Um, it's mastering for our album when we were back in Ithaca when we were the little three piece clunky band. So it's working. It's yeah. working. So New York, Minneapolis. I mean, you guys have been all over the country. How'd you end up in sleepy little Florida? Mm-hmm. No offense, Brevard. It's, it's, it's a wonderful place. But. It's a good question. Well, uh, I got hurt. Um, and they told me I'd never played guitar again or perform again. No. And the doctors were like, go to Arizona, go to Florida, check it out, see if the weather will help. Um, yeah. And, uh, Came here and um, has it worked? Has it helped? Yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't. I, I was writing and playing the keyboard and, and writing everything with the keyboard for a while, and they said, "Oh, you'll never play the guitar again." But um, uh, yeah, I came back and uh, boom, up on my feet, um, yeah. we're out there rocking it. Florida's <laughs> freaking magic, isn't it? I don't know about magic. <laughs> well, it's Florida because we found yeah. Melanie and Kat here. Yeah, I think uh, I have to say why it was, we were led here. For, it was our destiny. Yeah, yeah. 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 things work out for me. Yeah, it works yeah, out for you. Yeah. You guys got it going on. Definitely. We're winding down on time. We're down to our last minute here. I want to thank you guys yes. for coming out with us. Weeprock.com. Mm-hmm. Do you have any last minute questions for them? We always ask every uh, fan Ooh. that comes in here, every celebrity. We want to know crazy fans. The strangest thing that's ever happened in one of your shows. I think it was Relay for Life, uh, North Bavaria, where that dinosaur was dancing around. Yeah, there was, <laughs> hey, that's pretty it was strange. It was really <laughs> distracting, <laughs> very distracting. During your show, was he dancing? Yeah, during your show? yeah. 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 On the but, stage? Uh, no, it was on oh. the track. Oh. But it would stop in front of the stage purposely right. to distract yeah. us. Rude. So, yeah. <laughs> don't feel too bad because Diamond Dixie was in here and they had a child pee right in front of you. Oh, yeah. girl. Oh, that has not happened. There was one more little thing. Look, uh, Kat wasn't with us, but we, we got to play in New York City and we got to play right on Broadway with the Freedom Tower behind us in front of this brewery and there was construction workers and they were out there, they were working and they stopped working and they started dancing. Yeah, they had jack, they had jackhammers and everything and they stopped the the jackhammers. All right, we're out of here. Thanks again for listening to Radio Takeover for Karen Wood and I'm Chuck Fresh. Thanks again to Weep for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you.
information there too. Find us. You'll find us. We'll be back here next week, Wednesday at 1. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. God bless. Thanks. I love you. I love each and every one. This has been Radio Takeover. Brevard's hit talk radio show with Karen Wooden and Chuck Fresh. Heard every Wednesday at 1 p.m. right here on 1510 WMEL. And streaming all over the world 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on iTunes, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Join us next Wednesday at 1 for Radio Takeover. For sponsorship rates and availability, please log on to brevardradio.com.